He's a seven, but he summoned the electric count. Go. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 3. We are diving in with the battle embargo for Immortal Empires. This is where all the previous factions for game one and two have now been implemented. And today, thanks to Creative Assembly, we are able to show off a pretty sexy build that has all these units in a battle. And we can kind of start to get a bit of a glimpse, start putting these factions against one another until the uh, beta does drop in a couple months' time, which I'm really really looking forward to so today i thought it'd be fun to go ahead and put the empire everybody's favorite cole franz up against papa nurgle and see if we can withstand the oncoming hordes and i think it'll be a pretty interesting matchup we've got the artillery batteries already firing the grand cannons which will be able to hammer down the uh, the big man himself and also fire down a lot of the other enemies i also as well love the uh, kind of aesthetic a lot of the maps and other stuff have really been kind of zoozed up a bit which is always really Really, really nice and the units themselves I feel like kind of just pop a lot more uh, in the uh, in the third game with obviously all the new graphic updates and everything else along thermal lines so for my army I actually completely forgot to bring missiles in this one it's kind of uh, yeah my bad uh, but on our front line we have a whole horde of uh, sword infantry just kind of sword and board nothing too crazy backing them up we have the man himself the uh, the 10 in our hearts Cole Franz on death floor a couple great swords in the back a nice little kind of imperial artillery battery two great cannons and two hellstorm rockets batteries on the extreme left hand side we've got some demigriff knights and some empire knights and I mirrored that on the right hand side we've got ourselves a bright wizard and also an empire warrior priest and also captain going up against us we do have the hordes of hell uh, coming out of the disgusting sick that is nurgle it's lots of these beautiful beautiful nurglings we've got some plague toads as well as they head their way forward over on the extreme right hand side again we have some more plague toads and exalted plague bearers as well which are currently getting hit by the incoming artillery that is causing mayhem but yeah i completely forgot to bring missiles i was playing a couple kind of test battles in this and like the idea was to you know have a lot of missiles but when i changed a couple maps and it got rid of large armies uh, and then when i rebuilt my army i just completely forgot i was like yeah this will be enough artillery uh, let me tell you, it was not. And now these furries uh, can just kind of march over, I guess fly over my battle line without too much to worry about, which is not good. But the Hellstorm rocket batteries are firing in. And I've also got to go ahead and give CA uh, credit as well. The, uh, the map design uh, in Warhammer 3 is really awesome. And now we're, we're suddenly getting all of these kind of old world maps. It's really, really dope. I'm, I'm a big fan of their, their updated kind of maps, whether it's minor settlements, major settlements, uh, and just even land battles. I feel like they've done a great job uh, with, the, uh, with the updates uh, to the maps. Do keep in mind, though, obviously, whilst we're playing this, you know, this is still a development of work in progress. Uh, CA have actually been super, super forthcoming, I guess, with their creator program. Uh, we don't, you know, this is, this is much earlier than we ever got it, and you'll see visual bugs like that with the great unclean one um but you know obviously that stuff will be fixed as we go forward so nothing really have to worry about too much uh, when it comes to that you know that stuff will be polished out as we get further and further closer to the the, the beta um, but yeah, it's really awesome that we have the, have the chance to, uh, of course, you know, get access to this as early so we can go ahead and show off some beautiful, beautiful stuff and see the Empire go to town. Right now, my Warrior Priest is getting absolutely uh, charged down by the furries, and here we go, the Forsaken also getting caught up on the Warrior Priest. He's probably not long for this world, honestly. Fighting Forsaken is never going to be an amazing task, uh, but, you know, hopefully we'll be okay. Right-hand side as well, oh my God, my Empire Captain has got absolutely kicked booted across the map by the uh, the plague uh the, the, the great unclean one right there and now cole franz is moving maneuvering around we have also engaged the enemy pl uh, plague toads and furries in the forest right here and we are engaging them the demigriff knights are really getting stuck in with the empire knights as well trying to put as much hurt on them as possible the artillery is constantly firing and here we go forsaken charging into empire swords not a good battle whatsoever you can see that we're getting a nice little uh, explosion right there flaming tornado unfortunately this thing does go away from where i ideally would have liked it to go i would have much preferred it to go the other way and that regen does start to kick in here for the champions of nurgle the cavalry and the rest of the demigriffs you can see are fighting off in the wings getting pinned down by nurglings and also plague toads but the empire's fine is still holding on pushing back the enemy also this steam tank was 
absolutely awesome. The besides Spirit Leech, which they think you utilize quite efficiently in this battle, um, the Steam Tank just absolutely tanked down this flank against the Forsaken and everything else. And there you go. Beautiful Blade Flaming Skull right there, burning away this putrid meat. However, you can see up in the distance as well. Uh, they are spawning in more and more of these Nurglings as the artillery continue to hammer in. And that's kind of the, the goal in this play, in this battle, was just to try and keep the artillery alive for as long as possible. Because that's really where, where, where the magic of the Empire comes in. I mean, it would have been nice if we had some, uh, if we had some gunners and missiles as well. Don't get me wrong, that probably should have been something I brought in this battle, but... You know, I, I felt like I could still just push through without having to worry too much about that. We have another uh, kind of uh, bombardment right here as well. Smashing down directly on top of the uh, Plague Bearers and everything else. We are also now engaged with some of the, uh, the Chaos Spawn as well. The Nurgle Chaos Spawn looks really awesome. I'm a big, big fan of this. One of the other really cool things as well uh, with Warhammer 3, and now we're getting more to Empires in, uh, in the battles at least, is the fact that you can now switch through all the different types of uh, all the different types. Is it Spirit Leech? I'm getting Spirit Leech. Yeah, I'm getting Spirit Leech. Uh, which is really cool. Nice new animation for that. Obviously not new for Warhammer 3, but you know, for, uh, uh, compared to the other ones. But yeah, you can now like cycle through the actual uh, factions whenever you're playing. So for, say, for example, you're playing as the Empire, uh, much like you can in uh, with the other previous Warhammer factions. You can flip through all the Cabean factions. In these battles, you can flip through all the Empire factions. So if you want to kind of look like uh, Ostland, I mean, I'm Ostland, uh, or maybe I'm not, I can't remember the colors. Uh, but either way, I know oh, we're Avalon. Yeah, we're Avalon. Of course we are. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and do that, and uh, which is pretty cool. It's another flaming artillery piece comes down. So if you want to kind of represent your certain elect account or, or Dwarven Dowie, uh, you can do that again. We'll keep that distance so the, uh, the textures don't uh, mess up when we get too close to that. And you can see Cole Franz currently fighting on the, the Great Unclean one, getting absolutely spat on by that monstrosity and that debuff coming in. But the artillery is still coming in, hitting the Great Unclean one uh, and firing in. The artillery coming in clutch. Over on this other flank, though, the men deep in the forest with great swords now having to be committed to try and send these guys packing against the exalted uh, Blade Bearers. And yeah, the, the God Blade Bearers hit hard. They really, really do. And you've got the size of them. Their magical blades causing some issues. The explosion of the Plague Toads as they go down, dealing some serious damage. Luckily, though, over on this left-hand side, now I have been able to uh, clear down the enemy uh, flank. So this kind of formation that we've got set up here can quite wrap around and start hitting these guys in the back. As I said, the artillery is firing. That warrior priest going down. And also the Bright Wizard being smashed down by the Plague at Daddy's Fire. We're so close to killing him, but his regeneration is just constantly pumping him back up. And I definitely, definitely wish I had a Light Wizard in campaigns. I think a Light Wizard is super, super important. Look at he's pulling on people! Jesus, that's like me after I eat at like a local chicken shop. Well, damn. If you guys don't know, uh, yeah, the, the local chicken shops can be kind of questionable at university. I went to a place called Ken's. Shout out to anybody who's been to Ken's before. And it's basically like they've caught some pigeons and you just kind of roll with it though because you're at university and you fried chicken is fried chicken at the end of the day. see the rest of the fighting coming in on this left hand side we don't really uh fare too well but yeah nice i've got this little outflank right now i also try and charge down my demi on this right hand side yeah clean up this flank get a really really nice charge here onto the nurglings the nurglings have been just so deadly like the nurgle is just such a great unit because they they just tank right the uf they're hot they're pinning down some pretty expensive units right now with the Demigrips getting stuck in though, they should be able to really come in clutch here and turn the tide of the battle. But still, nonetheless, very nice indeed. And Cole Franz comes in as well just to help out. The artillery, look at that! The Plague Father is already up to half HP. We can always hit his cap, which is nice, but I wish my cannons uh, had a little bit more oomph left in them. They've already overrun one of them, sent my lines packing. And as you can see, the uh, front line is not looking great now. But let's just somehow turn these guys around. Like, the Nurgle forces just don't cease to keep on attacking and it's super frustrating. They just endlessly come. And the Empire, uh, you know, up against it for sure, slashing away. 
And if only I, if only I had some crossbows here, look at that off in the distance. We're trying to push up some Empire Knights into the Plague Father. Uh, but yeah, they're going to get ripped down pretty quickly uh, as we get stuck. And I actually thought I was going to have Demigriff Knights when I was playing, but I can see my Demigriff Knights are over here engaging some more of the enemy lines. Oh, damn, they look so nice in the Avalon colors. They really do. Super, super juicy stuff. More artillery fire coming in. I'm really excited to see what Mordor's can do as well. Now that we're supposed to be getting the Immortal Empires beta, I think in October. Uh, I think it was October, right? Maybe it was... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was October. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm really excited to see what Mordor's can start to do with that as well as the Plague Father continues to uh, to come in and uh, do some deal. Oh, Plague Father, a great unclean one, continues to come in. And we take a look at the overall uh, battlefield. You can see that my lines are getting hit. More Empire soldiers coming back in the end. If only we had some gunners, right? Some Imperial hand gunners. That'd be a pretty good idea, Jackie, wouldn't it? If you actually brought them because you were an idiot and you didn't. Uh, but right, flank is looking good. But even still, like, this battle is still just dragging on. These, these guys have been engaged with swordsmen, halberds, cavalry, demigriffs, and greatswords since the beginning of this battle nine minutes ago. And they're just tanking on. They're just healing. They refuse to go down. And they're applying poison as well, which is obviously really effective, reducing that missile piercing, reducing that base weapon damage. That stuff racks up over time. It really, really does. Especially because they're exalted as well. So they have them uh, throwing uh, weapons as well, the missile attack. So again, they can just kind of hit some missiles. So they're, they're maybe kind of a little bit further behind, reduce that armor piercing, and just make it way less effective for a period of time. But as I was saying uh, before I interrupted myself, um, it's going to be really cool to see what modders can do uh, with the... Uh, with the uh, kind of you know, improvements to Warhammer 3 and all the additions to that. The game, of course, is going to be getting supported, as they've said, for, for a while yet. So lots, lots more DLCs to be had. And yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this is going to be the legacy of, of the Warhammer games of Total War. In many years, when Creative Assembly have moved on to other games, whether it's Medieval 3 or a new Victoria Total War or Empire, you know, or even Warhammer 40k that, that's been rumored for some time. You know, whatever they end up doing, this is going to be the kind of pinnacle. And hopefully when we get a bunch of big DLCs uh, and some glorious, glorious mods. And one of the mods I, I really hope the modders do create, for sure, would be like a create your own mod. I think that's a mod that's definitely very possible. It will take a lot of time to do that for every faction. But yeah, I, I, I think definitely being able to create your own lord for each faction would be dope. Much like you can with Demon Prince. And instead of replacing limbs, you're replacing like weapons and skill sets. And you know, maybe you can kind of be a hybrid between a mage and uh, a melee. And I don't know. Stuff like that, I think, is definitely the legacy. And I, I imagine it's so much work to create a system like that. But Total War modders are incredible. And, I'm sure we'll definitely see that going forward uh, in the battle. So as you can see, my line is uh, yeah not looking great so far. We are uh, getting hammered pretty heavily. Blanks being broken down. Cole Franz is very low. I definitely, definitely see uh, the uh, the quality of having a, a Mage Lord of Life. I always see Legend with these uh, you know, regrowth spells and other factions. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool. And I definitely think it's yeah pretty important for your for your heroes like this. That's for sure. And as you can see, the battle in the forest is still going on. Uh, it really is. Also, I'm still never a big fan of these debuff spells. I feel like they're really intrusive uh, whenever you see it. And I feel like, I mean, I guess a lot of the time it's, I guess, useful because when you're looking like this, you're like, oh, okay, they're being, you know, they're being hit by poison or other buff spells or something. But I don't know. I feel like there'd be a better way to, uh, to show that off, in, in my opinion. It does look very, very kind of in your face. You can see Franz as well. I believe Franz is actually going to be broken soon. He's got like no HP. I think he's got like 200 HP left. And he is going to be sent back packing. Papa Nurgle is still just back here shooting away his artillery. Sporting Nurglings. He gets like six or seven Nurglings that he can spawn. And even with the brave men of the Empire fighting on to the very last. It is just not uh, going to, uh, to, to fare too well whatsoever. Uh, we've got the rest of the infantry moving in now. A few kind of scattered blobs, but yeah, we have the cultists there as well uh, coming in, healing. Uh, the battle is basically over at this point, and uh, I've actually lost to the AI, uh, which is, you know, is something. It's definitely something. Granted, I did give them 10,000 more gold worth of units. I was like, let's make this out. We are playing on hard difficulty as well. Uh, 
but you know, I probably should have still won that one. But hey, uh, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And I like to make myself personally look bad so that you guys can judge me and feel good about yourself. You know, this pro gamer on the internet who does this for a living, uh, you know, can't even be, you know, an army that's slightly bigger than his. But you guys can. And that's what's really important. You've got to believe in your heart of hearts that you're number one and you know if i if i can lose and you can win then you're just better than me and that's something that should you know help you on in this day because you guys are breathtaking and i'll see you guys in the next one